Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. This is Mafus Van Gogh, your dredge guy, and I'm here today to show you a different take on the blue dredge. This time with, ta da Merktide Regent. Yeah, maybe we have the potential to be the best Merktide Regent deck in Legacy. But let me tell you uh, something about this card in a minute. First, let's address the other difference between this version and the last version that I featured here in this channel. This time we have access to Poxwalkers because now we have Poxwalkers in Magic Online. Uh, I, I'm, I'm used to play Poxwalkers in Blue Dredge for more than a year now uh, in paper tournaments, but uh, this is the first time that I will play Poxwalkers in Blue Dredge on Magic Online. And I also want to test this Surveil Land here, Under City Sewers. I think uh, this has the potential to be a good addition to Blue Dredge, but only one copy, because usually when we want uh, Black Blue Land, we want to use it uh, on the same turn. But there are some spots uh, in our matches that we can uh, have a free effect on uh, this land when we don't want to use immediately mana. So I think this is uh, just uh, the only difference. We still have three daisies and four force of will in the main deck. But now instead of grief in the sideboard, uh, I'm trying Merktide Regent. And I have, uh, this is not just uh, uh, something that I want to try to test. Uh, this has, uh, 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 my gut is telling me that maybe this is a good choice. I'm not sure if three Merktide, of course, maybe two. But uh, I'm trying three instead of only two, uh, because uh, I had in this spot, in this slot, uh, three copies of Grief. And Grief is not that good in Dredge, right? Grief is just uh, a card that can be used as a free discard. Grief is a great card, but we don't even reanimate them, right? We don't have, we don't have cards like Reanimate or Animate Dead. So Grief is good, of course, but uh, is a glorified Unmask in our deck, because it can be used as Ikorid food. But since we only use two Icarids, and we have uh, black creatures to uh, bring back Icarids when we want to, usually. Uh, so I'm trying Merktide because, well, because uh, now the metagame is evolving fast to fight the Riscaminator decks. Uh, Riscaminator is the hottest deck in town lately. Uh, it has a strong uh, main deck plan, and even stronger uh, after sideboarding, according to what uh, they are playing. And uh, Merktide region can be good to answer some permanent answers that other decks are using against Riscaminator. For, for example, Graph Digger's Cage. If your opponent just uh, drop a Graph Digger's Cage, uh, our only answer, of course, is to try to counter it. But uh, we also can bounce them. But bounce a Graph Digger's Cage is just uh, something that will last for a single turn. We don't have uh, that much... Uh, we cannot trust... 100% in our Cabal Therapies, because sometimes we can't find them in a single turn. And of course, uh, the decks that uh, play Graph Digger's Cage usually also play counter spells. So bouncing a Graph Digger's Cage is just a liability. So I just got myself thinking last week about how can we, instead of play against their Graveyard Hate when they use Graph Digger's Cage or sometimes other artifacts, like Unlicensed Hearse, that can little by little uh, exile all of our important cards from our Graveyard. So instead of playing uh, against the Graveyard Hate, let's, let's just play something big that we can play for, from our hand. Well, uh, Dredge can uh, put many spells in the Graveyard really fast, even faster than Delver or, or Control decks. So Murktide can be even casted on turn 2 with some ease. So maybe we have the potential to be the best Murktide Regent in town. <laughs> so I'm not sure if this will pay off, of course, but uh, since Grief is not that good uh, these days because uh, opponents will... Uh, have uh, many uh, many other possibilities instead of only surgical extraction and counter spells. Uh, usually, decks now are having are using different different approaches to fight the graveyard decks like Riscaminator. So maybe this is a good thing to try. Uh, at least I think we'll have some fun. And maybe not only fun. Maybe I'm testing something that can even change this archetype, Blue Dredge. So let's play a Legacy League on Magic Online, and I hope you enjoyed this. Click the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment if you want to see more and more videos like this one. Now, let's start the Legacy League. So this is round one. We are paired against Wizard 2002, 22 years ago. So we are on the play, and yes, I would like to start, but no lands, no keep. Mulligan. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is really bad. Uh, we have control tools for days, but nothing to do after that. We are Mulligan again on the play. This is not good. Okay, this is the best hand so far. Uh, unfortunately, we have a uh, tapped land in our hand, but we have Force of Will, and uh, fortunately, this Otherworldly Gaze will find what we need to start the game. So this is a keep, considering what we draw so far. 
and I'll put bridge and Narcomiba back. Do I, do, I, do I actually put Narcomiba? Yeah, I put Narcomiba back, of course. Uh, this force, to this force. Uh, my opponent is also having a mulligan to five. So maybe this is a combo deck. And now I'm thinking about using this or this. I think I start with the tap land. I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see if our surveil land uh, will help us in this uh, beginning. So this is our first play this league, surveil one. Okay, we found a dredger. <laughs> so, yeah, this land is great. This land is absolutely great. So, yeah, dredge 5 and pass the turn. Unfortunately, we still don't have ways to crack Cephalic Coliseum yet, but uh, we'll have uh, this possibility on turn 3, unless my opponent plays with Wasteland. Misty Ring Forest and pass the turn, okay? So, I will dredge 5 here. Okay. Now I'm thinking, do I play Cephalic Coliseum or do I keep this to myself? I'm not sure what is the right answer. Because my opponent can be a Wasteland uh, deck, and if I play the Cephalic Coliseum, this will uh, push them into finding a Wasteland. So I think I'll just pass here the option to cast the Worldly Gaze as soon my, as my opponent crack this fetch land or on their upkeep right now. My opponent will try to fight for it. We'll try to counter it, this spell. Yeah, Mystical Dispute. Oh, this is probably Rhinos. This is probably Rhinos. Uh, and I actually don't care about Mystical Dispute here, about the Worldly Gaze. I just don't want uh, that my opponent uh, wasteland my land. We will dredge 6 now. We still have a Force of Will, we have an Akamoiba. And now we even know what my opponent has in their hand. I don't think my opponent plays with Stifle, right? And they also don't have uh, Orcish Bowmasters or creatures to kill in response. So I think we're okay to just crack the Cephalic Coliseum right now. And my opponent concedes, okay? <laughs> this was kind of fast. For Blue Dredge, this was a fast game. Usually we, are, we were prepared to go for a long game here. So against this deck, I think I would try to have Merc Tides, but my opponent probably play with only Endurance as a Graveyard Hate. I don't have that much to include here. Daisies are not that good uh, on the draw, so I can side out three Daisies to include three Merc Tides. I think this is kind of an obvious choice. Leyline is not that good. Dredge Return with Ashen Rider is not that good against uh, Endurance deck. And uh, these missiles are not that good unless I see a Leyline of the Void. Uh, so I think this is it. Three days is out, three Merc Tides in. Let's see if we can do the thing on this first match of this league. Okay, this is on the draw. My opponent is having their first mulligan. This is tempting because any land will put this hand in a really good position. But I think, unfortunately, we need to mulligan. Same case with this hand. <laughs> unfortunately, this is also a mulligan. My opponent is also going to five. Okay, my opponent is going to four. Maybe they have a Leyline. Okay, this is a keep, of course. Uh, I believe my opponent played with Wasteland. So this for the strand will be a basic island. And I have my first uh, play here. I don't have a second play after careful study. My opponent probably is mulligan until they find a Graveyard Hate or a fast combo. I'll keep this and I'll put Bridge and Golgari Thug. They both will be shuffled when I fetch this for the strand. Okay, my opponent kept four. Oh, they go for a combo. What? Oh, okay. They just uh, they just casted this crashing foot footfalls, exiling Alfish Spirit Guide, and they have no lands. Okay, so no mystical dispute at least. Let's hope for no counter spell here. Basic Island, careful study. And they have a counter spell. Okay, they exiled Brazen Borrower. So now they have nothing, but uh, they have uh, four turns until they they have two rhinos, and we need to have a good top deck here. We have many good top decks in a situation like this. Let's see if we can hit one of them. This is one of them. It's not the best, but uh, having two uh, lands, it's of course good. I'll just pass a turn. I'll not crack it immediately, because maybe I need a black mana here, or probably I will just uh, have a prevail land. This is one of those opportunities. Let's see if my opponent has a land. They have, and I'll fetch for my surveil land. Be good to us. Be good to us. Force of will. Hmm, I think I'll put Force of Fill into my graveyard. We are not on defense here. We want to put more cards into our graveyard to maybe cast this Merc Tide Regent. I can even cast Merc Tide now if I want to. Or I can just cast Stinkwood Imp as a blocker. Or I can just pass a turn here. I have many, many possibilities. I think I'll try to do the thing, the fun thing, and cast Merc Tide uh, here. Yeah, we don't need any of those cards. This will be only a 5-5 five, five flying. But I think this is the fun thing that I want to do. 
and it resolves. Great. Now we can win in four turns. And my opponent concedes. <laughs> Mark Tide Regent. Too good. Too good. Okay. We won our first match. Let's go to round two. If you enjoy my content, I will encourage you to go check my Patreon. This way you can help me as a content creator, but also have access to all my articles, sideboard guides, new videos, and also everything that I discover about Dredge. When I built a new deck like this one, you have access first. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to all my patrons that you can see here on this page. Now, back to the games. Okay, this is our uh, second round against uh, Peter Pan. And uh, this hand is a keep. We don't have dredgers yet, but uh, as soon as we get one, this hand is gas. So it's a keep. We are on the draw. And no fetch lands. So probably no surveil land on turn one in this game. My opponent plays scouting turn, fetches a volcanic island. And okay, Darcy. So this is Delver or a temple deck. And a force of oil. All right. So I will start with Otherworldly Gaze in my main phase because I don't want to, to give the opportunity to my opponent to just cast a Brainstorm and find a, another counter spell. They have a daze. Let's let them surveil. I think I'll force it. Okay, they just uh, milled a Palette Delta. I'll force it now because against Delver we don't have that many uh, opportunities to force good cards and we really need to resolve the Otherworldly Gaze here. Okay, great. So I can mill everything and pass. And my opponent cannot wasteland me. This is the power of the dredge. My opponent plays a Volcanic Island back and casts Ponder, meaning Arkish Bowmasters. So this uh, Darcy will be a uh, 3 3 flying. They already have lands, instant creature, and now sorcery. My opponent chooses to not shuffle and casts Mishra's Bubble for another survey effect, surveying wasteland to the bin and crack it immediately. Look, my top card, but my top card is. Uh, it's just an extra card to my graveyard, so I don't think this is the right choice when I have a good dredger. But uh, usually the other players do this, right? Because they uh, will draw their cards and they have to just uh, the opportunity to have some information. But uh, I will dredge here, so my opponent saw just this Queen Impel top. And now I will crack Cephal de Collision, because this is uncounterable. And I will dredge 5, 5 again, and dredge 6. And now uh, I already have Hogak, two bridges, I have only one Cabal Therapy. Uh, so I will discard the bridge and my best dredgers. This Cabal Therapy will name... Oh, you, have, you even have Poxwalkers, great. I didn't notice Poxwalkers there. So I will name Days again. I know that my opponent already had, had used one that, of them. It's, it is probably not the best name here. But if my opponent counters... Uh, no, no, actually not. Because what I don't want to my opponent uh, play next turn. Probably a Merktide, but uh, even a Merktide will not be so bad at this spot. I don't want them to play Orcish Bowmasters because I want to keep my bridges for a long time. So Orcish Bowmasters and Merktide Regent both uh, need two lands. So uh, if my opponent dazes my Hogak, uh, this is not that bad. So I will name Force of Oil. Because uh, if they have another daze, Oh, they have nothing? Uh, that's great. Two wastelands. You see? Blue dredge. Basic lands are good. Let's just cast Hogak here. Exiling lands from our deck. And there is a nice interaction that maybe we can see this leak between M Hogak and Merktide. Because if we resolve Merktide first and Hogak second, after that, uh, Hogak can exile more uh, spells from our graveyard and our Merktide will be really impressive. So we cannot do anything else here. We can just pass the turn. We have almost lethal here. With Ico Reed, we have lethal next turn. And this Darcy needs to attack. My opponent last turn did not have the mana to cast Molten Collapse. So maybe they need to brainstorm here. Unless they found the mana. Even if they cast Molten Collapse here, they can destroy my Hogak. Uh, but I'll have more three zombies. So this is not a good exchange. Okay, my opponent concedes. Too strong, too strong. Blue Dredge is too strong. So, uh, against Delver, I don't like Force of Will that much. On the play, especially, because my opponent will have more uh, counter spells than us. But since we want to test Mark Tides, uh, and this is not good on the draw if my opponent have just a turn one Graph Digger's Cage, I will change uh, three dazes for uh, three uh, Mark Tides again. And I think that's it. Uh, we could include a Dredge Return and Ashen Rider, but uh, I don't think we actually need. I prefer to test Mark Tides here. So let's just submit. After sideboarding, my opponent will probably have Fire Blasts 
and maybe force of negation and maybe surgical extraction but uh, last week I've been seeing more and more tempo decks using uh, two graph diggers cage instead of surgical now is this a keep? my opponent kept 7 this is not a good keep of course but uh, if my opponent kept 7 relying on counter spells uh, this have the opportunity to just uh, discard Golgar Grief Troll and then cast Careful Study on turn 2. My opponent can ca counter probably. And then Brainstorm on turn 3. This is not perfect, but on the draw, I think this can be a keep. And any other land enabler or even Cabal Therapy will put this uh, hand into a better position. Uh, I would prefer other hands, but uh, I will not aggressively mulligan on the draw. I think this is kind of okay. So I'll keep. Of course, I, I would prefer to have a Force of Will here, in case my opponent just have a turn 1 Graph Digger's Cage. But as I said, even if they do have Graph Digger's Cage, now we have Mark Tides, and we can cast creatures from our hand eventually. So, two bubbles, they saw our card and their card, and no Graph Digger's Cage, not right now. So this is a win. <laughs> a small win, but... Uh, okay, just a Misty Rainforest. I think I will just pass a turn here, as I said before. Let's guarantee that we will start dredging. My opponent will have one extra turn to find a uh, Graph Digger's Cage, if this is their plan. But uh, now we have uh, two lands. We only need one of one more to start uh, casting Stinkwind Nibs forever. So I will discard Grave Troll. And my opponent, uh, except my, my F6 here, uh, really slow. So it shows to me that uh, they had counter spells, of course. Brainstorms. You can brainstorm. This is, is the best art, uh, in my opinion. Uh, unfortunately, I have this uh, bad uh, brainstorm here. I don't like this uh, brain cloud. Uh, I would prefer to have them. But I, you know, I, I just don't want to pay $1 to each brainstorm. Uh, <laughs> I think brainstorm should be uh, more, uh, uh, more cheap than it is. So my opponent has brainstorms and it, uh, they are brainstorm locked. So maybe, maybe uh, it's good for us. Dredge 6. Okay, we have dredgers. So... My opponent probably have counter spells here, so we start with careful study. I'm expecting a counter spell here, maybe force of negation, force of will, or daze. Daze, it's fine. And now we pass the turn. My opponent will probably play the same volcanic island. Do they have other play here? Other cantrip? Devil of secrets. Okay. Next turn, I can cast brainstorm, uh, playing uh, discard around daze, and we even have a cabal therapy here if we feel we need to cast. Okay, I'll Mark Tide or the Woodly Gaze. Uh, I will crack this Misty Rainforest. I will have a basic island. I want to guarantee that I have my two basic islands in play. That's why I'm milling, I, I'm searching for it immediately before uh, trying to resolve Brainstorm. I could go for an Other Woodly Gaze instead of Brainstorm because it's almost guaranteed that my opponent has another uh, counter spell here. I can even cast a Narco Moiba to cast a Cabal Therapy twice to disrupt my opponent's hand. Maybe this is better to try to resolve a brainstorm right now because my opponents certainly have more than a single daze, right? And this brainstorm, when it resolves it, it will win me the game. Yeah, I think I will do this. I will play slow. My opponent is not uh, show me, showing me any aggression. They can daze Narcomoeba here if they want to. Oh, they are forcing Narcomoeba. They don't want me to look their hand. Okay, this is a win for us. Two for one. This is amazing. A brainstorm and a force of will for a single Narcomoeba. This devil probably is flipping now with a third brainstorm. Okay, my opponent kept a hand full of brainstorms and no fetchlands. Will they cast this brainstorm right now? Maybe they fear that we have days. We have one extra land here. They attack with devil first. Not devil, insectal aberration. We are now on 15 life. Will my opponent cast this brainstorm now? If they have a pyroblast, they will probably keep the red mana open. We will dredge 6. Okay, now we have Poxwalkers here, so if I just cast this Otherworldly Gaze, even if my opponent counters it, I will have Poxwalkers with uh, two bridges, so I can Cabal Therapy my opponent three times. I think this is better, considering that my opponent have five cards in hand. This is better than trying to resolve my Brainstorm here. That almost guaranteed will be countered. So I will just cast Otherworldly Gaze to have a free Poxwalkers, and this is a good addition to Blue Dredge. Having this uh, synergy here, is better than just waiting to maybe uh, have any courage next turn. My opponent will not counter all the early gaze. Oh, and we found Hogak and careful study. So, uh, Ikorid and Hogak can be put uh, can be put into the graveyard, and I'll keep careful study on top. 
and now I will cast my first Cabal Therapy, and I can even cast Hogak after that. Since I know that my opponent has a Brainstorm, if they don't uh, cast Brainstorm, I, okay, my opponent casts Brainstorm, Brainstorm, this is smart. And since I have two free Cabal Therapies after that, uh, this is the moment uh, of truth. I can aim whatever I want and probably will resolve this Hogak and have uh, at least six zombies at the end of this turn. I have many good things to hit here. I will start with uh, Pyroblast, since I have two blue spells to resolve next turn. Yeah, and I was right. And they have uh, two other counter spells, okay. So now I will cast another Cabal Therapy, sacrificing Poxwalkers. My opponent is observing what I'm doing. Uh, I'm not sure if all, all the players are already used to see Poxwalkers with bridges here. And my opponent concedes. Now they understood what uh, I was going to do. I was just take days, resolve Hogak, and then take uh, Mark Dead Region or Darcy, and uh, this game is over. GG's, we are 2 0, 2 0. Let's go to our third match. Okay, this is our third round this evening. And I'm paired, I'm paired against a Burger Viking. Okay, this is a Yorion deck. And uh, let me uh, here. Uh, okay, we don't have. We are on the play, so having two days is, is good. Nakomiba is not dead because we have Brainstorm. But we don't have anything else here. And on the play, I think we can do better. Uh, of course, my opponent can uh, be playing a control deck. And in this case, having two days on the play is good. But I think we can do better than that. So let's mulligan. Okay, this is better. I will keep this and I will put uh, Bridge from Below back in the deck. Uh, it will be immediately shuffled back. Do I play Underground C before scouting turn? I don't think so. I think I will... Having Otherworldly Gaze and the Surveil Land, I don't need to keep a fetch land here. I'll just... I'll probably mail six or seven cards and then a Brainstorm. I'll, I'll find what, what I want to find. So I'll just pass a turn here and then cast Otherworldly Gaze on their upkeep. Just in case of they having a Force of Negation. So, okay, I can mail everything here. Hickory, Daze, and Bridge. And now they play Basic Island. So this is a Death and Texas. Either Vile and Pass. This is a difficult matchup after uh, after some new cards that uh, these archetypes have uh, since uh, I believe since the pandemic, <laughs> before the pandemic, uh, before uh, four years, four years ago or even more. Uh, this was a favorable matchup, but uh, now they have uh, plenty of uh, main deck cards that can be bad against us. One of them is Lion Sash. Uh, we draw Narcomiba. Narcomiba is really awful to have this, but now that I know that my opponent don't have counter spells, I will just play Underground Sea and pass the turn. Let's see what they will play. Prismatic Vista. Is this a black white Death in Texas? Yeah, it is. So they may have Unforged Mystic. We could cast Brainstorm here trying to find a Force of Will, but uh, I prefer to just try to do our thing and uh, try to find a Cabal Therapy and our treasures to start uh, winning the game. So Stoneforge can resolve. Let's see if, if they go to they go for a Lion Sash or a Cowder Lion Sash. Okay, so I yield until the next end step, and I'll cast Otherworldly Gaze right now. Let's find what we need to find. Come on, not yet. I can heal everything. Okay, now at least we have uh, Icarids. So one Icarid can come back, and with this Cabal Therapy, we can take Lion Sash from my opponent's hand. I'll cast Otherworldly Gaze first. Okay, we found what we need. I will unfortunately not cast this Brainstorm this turn, but next turn I will have two Nakomibas. So, since my opponent can have a white removal spells, first of Plowshares, uh, even Solitude, I think I will keep one Icarid here and I will, I will high road my dredging here. And so we are already 17 cards deep. I will bring back one Icarid, exile in a Bulgari Thug, and the other one can wait. And we dredge five now, and I will play my Surveil Land, in case we find another bridge from below. Oh, we found a bridge from below, you see? Uh, we need to do a, a, a good sequencing of our spells here. And this Cabal Therapy is deadly for our opponent, unless they have a Solitude. I will name, of course, Lion Sash. They probably don't have Solitude, so I name Lion Sash. And they have Mother of Rooms, Other, Stoneforge, uh, and Flicker Risp. We will just cast Hogak now. I will tap every zombie. I, since we have Mark Tides, I will not. I will try to not. Uh, this is something that uh, occurs to me right now. I will try to not, if possible, 
do not exile every single instant and source tree from my graveyard. This time is not possible because we have many good cards here. This is a good graveyard right now. So I need to exile them. I what else I will exile? I don't want yeah, we already have two other treasures, so I will exile Google Thug. This Gogak comes back. But this is something to keep in mind in the future. If we have more lands, instead of automatically just exile uh, lands or spells or useless creatures like uh, Nakomiba in the graveyard, uh, we must consider that now we have a Merc Tide. Oh, of course, I don't have Merc Tide now. My Merc Tides are in the sideboard. But this is something to keep in mind to not forget. Because it's just a tiny detail, but it can make a difference. Now my opponent has a Mother of Runes and a Stoneforge Mystic. They will pass. Yeah, they can probably tap either Vio to put Stoneforge and then go for a Calder Complete, for example, and put it immediately uh, in play with the other Stoneforge. Uh, okay. This is the moment to cast Brainstorm, because uh, this means that we will have two Narcomoebas back this turn, not only next turn. So on my upkeep, I will cast a Brainstorm in response to these both Icarids. And uh, now I will dredge 6 and dredge 5. We have Pox Walkers, great, and dredge 6. And I will put 2 Narcomoebas back. And we have other 2. So we have 4 Narcomoebas at the end of this turn. 1 and 2. Now this first Icarid can take this Stinkwid Imp, can exile Stinkwid Imp, and the other 2. And now I will dredge 6. Both Narcomoebas can come back. Yes. Yes, I would like my free illusion, please. And now I will immediately cast this Otherworldly Gaze. Because we can find a uh, Cabal Therapy to force my opponent to do their thing before combat. If we found a Cabal Therapy, it will be really good here. Not a Cabal Therapy, but we have a Cephalic Collision for next turn. We are already uh, milled almost to, <laughs> to the bottom of our deck, right? So I'm not sure if I even want to have a Cephalic Collision. It's probably good. But we already uh, found uh, four Narcomibas, four Bridges, Hogak. Or Pox Walkers. Next turn, probably the best thing that I can do is just a dredge 6 or 4 and cast a Stinkwood Imp from my hand. But I will still keep a Cephalic Collision on top in case I feel the need to. Uh, uh, how many Cabal Therapies do we have? We have three Cabal Therapies waiting for us, so maybe, maybe it's best. So now what? I don't want to uh, exile my bridges. If I attack, I will exile my bridges. My opponent will probably uh, exile Hogak with Calder Complete here. Uh, so I'm not sure about what to do. So I will just pass the turn. So this will maximize our zombies. Both Icorids dying will trigger our bridges twice. And uh, and my opponent will do their thing on the end of the turn. But well, we'll have plenty of things to do here. And many creatures to win the game next turn. Or maybe in a couple of turns. According to what our opponent can do. They have a Flicker Wisp. So now they have uh, the Stoneforge Mystic triggering. Reveal Scalder complete. Put counter complete as expected, and now we'll have many zombies. So you see, I need to wait until the right moment to attack, because if I attack too soon here, uh, I would probably lose the game, because I don't have lethal, and my opponent has blockers, and counter complete to exile my big creature. I can just press F6 here, and remember that we have Cephalic Collision on top. My opponent plays Marsh Flats, they have Flicker Wisp and two unknown cards. They cast Flicker Wisp immediately, to just get rid of a zombie, okay. I'm good. Now we can only bring back one Acorade here. Because we have only one Golgari Thug. But uh, we have the other Stinkwood Imps in our hand. But uh, that's okay. Let's bring back one Acorade. My opponent kept Caldera complete as a blocker. Which is a good sign. And now we will draw our Cephalic Collision. And since I want to find my Cabal Therapies to maximize my zombies and then attack for Lethal. Because right now, let's see. My opponent probably has at least one extra blocker from this either vial. And so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 blockers, Hogak, Icarid, Poxwalkers. Uh, we probably have Lethal here, but I would be more safe <laughs> if I just uh, crack Cephalic Collision first. So I'll crack it, and I will dredge 6. Okay, Cabal Therapy on the Holy Gaze in our hand. That's great. And another Cabal Therapy there. I will discard uh, both Stinkwid Imps, and I go Grave, grave Troll. Now I cast Cabal Therapy from my hand. They can have, for example, a source of plowshares here. Oh, they will put a creature immediately, which is Skyclave Apparition. So that's what I was talking about. Okay, they will exile my Poxwalkers. Okay, my opponent has only one card in their hand. I will name Swords of Plowshares. 
but I don't think I don't actually think they have a plow here. Uh, Thalia, okay, we can take Thalia. Uh, let's cast other Gaze first. For Sophia and another Fali Collision, uh, both cards here are not uh, that useful. Uh, we don't want to mill our deck, so I will just keep everything on top. This order. And now, if we attack, since my opponent has nothing else, one, two, three, four, five, six blockers. One, two, more for zombies, so 12. I can deal 16 damage to my opponent, so this is not lethal. So let's maximize our bridges here to attack next turn. Let's take Thalia, sacrificing Hogak. We must be patient to win when we have the opportunity to win. If I just attack here, I probably will lose the game. Maybe not, because my opponent will uh, not uh, have a uh, lifelink or something, at least not for now. Uh, I don't want to risk uh, my win here. So, oh yeah. And now I'll cast Hogak, adding more cards to Convoke. And I'll cast another Cabal Therapy, just to send a message to my opponent, sacrificing Hogak again. And I will name a Killer Among Us. And I'll cast Hogak again, this time tapping an Echo Read. And I can safely attack with my flying... Oh no, my opponent has a flicker risk. No, I cannot attack with anyone. Let's be patient. Let's wait. This equality will die at the end of the turn. And we have four more zombies. And now we have a nice, good and beautiful army of zombies. This is not my record. I already uh, had uh, almost 30 zombies on play uh, once. But uh, this is 22 zombies. This is a good... Good point. My opponent will survey one. Oh, they chose to put Caracas uh, in the bin. And they have only a Prismatic Vista, so this is uh, GG's. My opponent cannot do anything. Caracas would be better because uh, they could bounce Hogak, but uh, this is already... Uh, my opponent cannot do anything, right? So I will put... I'll bring back both Ecorids, Exile and Stinkwood Imps, and I will draw my Cephalic Coliseum and attack for Lethal. Let's see if my opponent will let me deal damage. 29 cards are attacking. And we won. Okay, uh, negative 44. You see, uh, we don't have anger in this build, so no mountains, no anger, no turbo wins, but uh, we can secure our wins after some turns. Uh, now, against this deck, what can I expect? Probably everything, right? Probably my opponent will uh, have... Uh, this, this is a Yorion deck, so they probably have Leyline of the Void, Fairy Macabre, Surgical Extraction, and Graph Digger's Cage uh, with different numbers. And uh, maybe even something else. And they have Lion Sash. I will put probably two Chain of Vapor, maybe three with uh, three dismissal effects with at least one stern dismissal. And I can include three Muptides here. And uh, this is six cards. What can I take? This is my first time uh, doing uh, this sideboarding against uh, Death and Taxes deck with Murktide. And I think Murktide can be good because it's a giant flyer and it's not uh, legendary. And my opponent already maybe needs to save uh, their exciting effects to my other creatures. Uh, I can probably take days, especially on the draw. And I think I can take one other worldly gaze. I really love this card, but on the draw it is slower. I can take one brainstorm. I don't think I want to take brainstorm or worldly gaze, but I think I need to. And Hogak actually is not that good uh, against a deck with four Caracas. Uh, so I can take uh, Hogak here. Hogak is good to have this opportunity to create an army of uh, zombies, but I need to take something. And it is not Force of Will. And since I want to include three Marketides to test them, I will put them instead of Hogak. And uh, yeah, let's try it this way. Three dismissal effects and three extra threats. And three days is uh, less, three uh, counter spells less. And, uh, okay, this is kind of good. If my opponent starts the game with uh, Graph Digger's Cage, we have the answer. We can even Cabal Therapy the answer, uh, the, the card after that. And we have enablers to find what we need. This is low, but uh, we don't have a Force of Will, but I think this is a key. My opponent has a Ley Line, and we have the answer. Now we play our basic island and pass the turn. Let's see what my opponent will play. Savannah. Oh, this is different. Is this absent Taxes? Okay, so I will cast Channel Vapor targeting Ley Line here. But this is not game over. My opponent can have other cards in their hand. Like Fairy Macabre, Surgical Extraction, and even Containment Priest. So let's have that in mind. I will cast all the Worldly Gaze right now on my upkeep. Uh, I kind of want all of them. <laughs> uh, but I will put... Mm, 
I kind of want everything here. Of course, I cannot have everything. I need to find my treasures. I will keep only a careful study on top. And now I will practice for the trend, probably for my surveil land at the end of their turn. Yeah? Yeah. I think this is better than just to cast a careful study here and maybe find nothing. If they have a containment priest, this is an excellent moment to cast it. But they didn't. A wasteland. And now they cast Unforged Mystic. Do we care? We probably do care. But I still think this is a surveil land. We already have a Cabal Therapy. We need uh, an Underground Sea. We, we need Black Mana. Or we need to resolve this Narcom Weeba with Cabal Therapy in the bin. If I just cast for the strength here, if I just crack for the strength for a basic island casting Brainstorm, the chances that I find a Force of Will, there are chances, but uh, I don't think this is the best move here. I'll just let uh, Stoneforge Mystic resolve. This is risky, but I think uh, it's the best. I can, of course, do nothing here. No Surveil Land, and just uh, pass a turn, and then crack Flooded Strand for a Black Mana, and then take Lion Sash from my opponent's hand. Maybe this is better. So, unfortunately, we will pass a turn without doing nothing, but I think uh, this is for the best. Just have a natural draw. It's, it is a Golgari Grief draw. This is pretty good. Now what? I will cast Careful Study first. Okay, two dredgers. I'm not sure if I should risk just casting this Brainstorm because I can't find no extra Narcomoebas. It's rare, but sometimes they are uh, on the bottom of your deck. So instead of doing that, I will just crack for the strength for Black Mana and cast Cabal Therapy from my hand. I think this is better. Let's not risk it. And we still have Brainstorm for next turn with this basic island guaranteed. So I'll name Lion Sash. And uh, my opponent, of course, has the similar line of the void and other good cards here. But all of them related to removal. Removal, 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 removal. Two sky claves. Okay? So we pass the turn. My opponent will probably wasteland me here. No? Yeah, they don't need to wasteland. Uh, oh, two wastelands. Okay, one of them now. And they will probably don't cast a sky clave, right? Okay, just putting Yorion in their hand. And passing the turn. Attacking with Stoneforge Mystic. Uh, we know our opponent's hand now, uh, those uh, five cards and Eorion, so we will just resolve this brainstorm on our upkeep and have this Narcomoeba this turn. Let's reveal some bridges. Dredge 6, Dredge 6 again, and Dredge 5. Where are my bridges? None of them, but I will put one of them uh, in Narcomoeba. We already have Pox Walkers and Chocobal Therapies. Now we will Dredge 5. Okay. And we have our best treasure for next turn. This is, the, this is uh, being good. We will take both Skyclaves now. And have our Poxwalkers back. We don't have Hogak because I, I chose to side Hogak out. But I think we have the lead here. Skyclave Apparition. And now what we should take from my opponent's hand. Uh, this destroy all creatures with power 3 or greater. So this can destroy my uh, Poxwalkers. And that's it because I don't have Hogak anymore. So I will not take this. I will probably take Source to Plowshares. I don't need to take Leyline because my opponent don't have Black Mana right now. And this Eorion will need to wait two extra lands. So we have the time. I will just take Source to Plowshares. We have one Equal for next turn. Yeah, so Source to Plowshares. And this Poxwalkers will come back immediately. Towards the Plowshares. And now we pass the turn. Next, week, next uh, turn my Equal will uh, come back. My opponent now don't have uh, instant answers. But they have many good draws that uh, can stop our plans here. My opponent is passing the turn. This card is not even good uh, against us in this spot because uh, it will just give us another zombie. I will probably attack here even if I reveal more bridges. If I reveal two bridges, I will not attack. But if I reveal only one, I will probably attack. No bridges, better yet. Because I think I want to deal with this Stoneforge. What? My opponent has a Containment Priest? No, just a Plowshares. Okay, source of Plowshares. I have one Acorid down, but this Nakomibo will come back. Uh, since we have two Cabal Therapies, uh, let's... Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure. I have only one Bridge, right? And uh, I can do better in the future because uh, the, those three cards are not that bad against us right now. So I'll just attack here. I don't think my opponent will, uh, will block with uh, Stoneforge Mystic. It's definitely wrong to block with Stoneforge because they can just stop the Cacaudra, for example. What? <laughs> okay, my opponent will block. Oh, they will block. Okay, it's a win for us. So now if my opponent stops the Cacaudra, we are safe. I don't care if this bridge gets exiled. We have now a 
one, six, seven, eight. We have a two turn clock against our opponent. Let's pass the turn. I can press F6 here. I cannot do anything. I'm doing this just to save time because since I'm explaining all my plays in detail, uh, I'm low on life. But usually it's not the right move to just uh, press F6 uh, here. Okay, now I have a second bridge. Let's attack. And my opponent takes the damage. And I will cast my Cabal Therapy here just to uh, take uh, to have my Poxwalkers back and uh, to see what's going on there. Okay, it's Containment Priest. So this Poxwalkers is not optional trigger, so it will be exiled. But uh, we have a lethal next turn. Uh, I'll uh, name... Something is good here. Let's uh, name the battle of Bywater. And I don't need to name anything else here. But I probably do just to push some extra damage. Guaranteed. Let's take Yorion. Yorion Sky Nomad. Do you have an Yorion? Oh, you do have. Okay. Now we pass a turn. My opponent needs to draw something really good here. A, they don't, and we won. We are trio with Blue Dredge, new version, with Merc Tides. So far we uh, have casted just uh, on um, the first match, but uh, uh, so far it's a win for this deck. Let's go to our fourth round. Okay, this is our next match. Uh, we are paired against uh, Hohei DW. Uh, we are on the draw, and on the draw this is okay hand, this is a medium hand. We have two Cephalic Coliseums. Uh, if my opponent is a tempo deck or a control deck, I can just discard Synchro Imp and have uh, both Cephalic Coliseums available on uh, the next few turns. And we also have a Force of Will and a Brainstorm. Uh, if, uh, if we need to uh, use uh, Force of Will, we have a blue card to pitch. I think this is not the best hand, but I think this is a keep on the draw. On the play, I would uh, go for a mulligan here. So my opponent starts the game. Okay, Grief Exiling Atraxa. I think I need to let this resolve because I don't have anything else going on in my hand. They will probably take Brainstorm here, but uh, I think I unfortunately need to let this go. So is this Reanimator or Rescaminator? I would have forced uh, Grief here if, my, if I had only Dredgers in my hand because my opponent could reanimate uh, Grief and then take uh, one of my Dredgers. Okay, my opponent ponders. Okay, so this is a slow start, a slow start for them. Uh, they chose not shuffle, and we have only a land. So I will play for the strand, and I will crack it right now. Not, no, I will wait. Mm, I don't think my opponent will have something like the, uh, stifle or something that will not allow me to search my deck. They have a Traxa, so I will just pass a turn here, and probably at the end of the turn I will go for a surveillance. Since now we have uh, one of them. So far, I'm I'm liking I'm liking this surveillance. It also give, gives me uh, gives me the this also pushes pushes me to maybe have two in the future. Let's see, let's see how this goes until the end of this league. Uh, the best thing to take from my hand now is bridge because it will exile my bridge. But my opponent can guarantee that they will resolve something else in the future. So maybe taking force is the best move. My opponent plays Palette Delta, cracks it, and plays Orcish Bowmasters. Okay, you got it. But with only one card in their hand. So we are still in this. Let's yield until the next end step. And now this is a Surveil land. And let's find something like... Okay, Orderly Gaze is kind of nice. I'm not sure if I want Orderly Gaze on top or if I want to mill it. Hmm. If this is a Rescaminator, they also have Wasteland. So I think I want to mill it. Put into the graveyard. So I can cast something else next turn. Brainstorm is good as soon as we can cast Stinkwind Imp or uh, find something else. Since my opponent can uh, draw something like Daze or Force of Foil, I kind of feel that I want to cast Outward the Gaze right now. Unfortunately, this puts me into a situation that if I reveal a Dredger, my opponent can animate that or reanimate my Dredger. So, but my opponent is not offering that uh fast clock right so I, I think i will just pass here because they need wasteland plus a counter spell here to bother me and i don't think they have both i will take this damage i will not uh try to be smart and reveal narcomibo right now i prefer them alive my opponent plays polluted delta so no wasteland they can have days but uh for me fine if they were okay no days and we have a force of fuel here but i don't think we need to keep this force of fuel. Now we are uh, playing to win. 
not to, to block or we are not playing defensively. I will dredge five. Okay, I have two more two more dredgers here. I have box walkers, cabal therapy. I will probably go for it. I'll go for it. I'll crack my cephalic collision here. My only fear is that I don't find an extra dredger on my top nine cards. This fear is non-existent. Now I have dredge six and dredge six again. And my opponent can have another Archish Bowmasters, but uh, based on their play pattern that they played Archish Bowmasters really soon in the game, I don't think they, they have it. They probably have something else or even a land. So I will discard a Bridge, a Grave Troll and Grave Troll. This is just an assumption. I can be wrong, of course. Maybe they have uh, something else. It's not going to be enters the battlefield. I will cast Cabal Therapy immediately to see what's going on. I could just cast Brainstorm here, but I prefer to be safe about... Uh, display because now I can cast Hogak. I will have Pox Walkers back if my opponent has a okay. My opponent concedes, that's great. Because what uh, was my thought here? That uh, if my opponent uh, actually was smart and kept a second copy of our Fishable Masters, uh, they could exile my both bridges. I will have a Pox Walkers, and then I had a brainstorm to find another bridge and finally cast Hogak. So that's that was my thought. Now against Ris Risk Aminator on the draw. They will come back with uh, Dalty Void Walker. This is 100% uh, correct. So I will put four ley lines here because Dalty plus Reanimate is a pain, right? Um, I can try Mark Tide Regent here, but on the draw I think uh, they can be slow against the Dalty Void Walker. Uh, Ashen Rider is definitely not good. Dredge Return is not good. Uh, daze is interesting because I can try to daze my opponent's uh, first spells. I don't like Force of Will in this matchup. Because of grief, I prefer days instead of force of will. If I even uh, on the draw, I prefer days because I can cast days targeting Archish Masters, and uh, they have many good plays on turn two, so days can be good. Uh, okay, I already uh, sided out for force of will for four play line of the void. Do I change anything else? I could take one of my neighbors to include an extra days, but I think I'll do this only on the play. So oh, let's let's try this on the draw. Okay, this is my opponent is uh, mulligan to six. Uh, this is okay. We have two ley lines. My opponent will probably not have opportunities to bounce both of them. They can have a while of the forgotten and maybe uh, a petty theft. But uh, having two ley lines is good. And we have careful study instinct with imp and two lands and a cabal therapy. I think this is almost a god's hand. If my opponent has grief, they cannot reanimate grief, and I can cast cabal therapy targeting myself. Uh, I think this is a good keep. On the draw is nothing uh, secured. My opponent can have a terrific hand. And uh, even with, uh, for example, two Dalty Void Walkers and we cannot do anything, right? But uh, so far my first play here is casting a Blind Cabal Therapy targeting them, naming Dalty Void Walker. And if they have a Dalty Void Walker, it will be exiled forever. My opponent is going to five cards. And I have two Ley Lines. My opponent plays Polity Delta, cracks it. Underground Sea, and I have Spell Bomb. Okay, my opponent also have uh, some artifact answer to my graveyard. Since they have this, I still think it's correct to just name uh, Dalty Void Walker here. I could just, of course, cast Careful Study, discard Instinct with Imp. Um, hmm. How many of those cards my opponent have? Because maybe they are trying to play this instead of Dalty Void Walker. I'm not seeing much Spell Bombs played uh, as with Dalty Void Walker in the same builds, but uh, I may be wrong. Okay, I'm not sure. I think, you know what, uh, since I have two ley lines, I'm not played that defensively. Maybe I should do it. Hmm, death. Hmm. You know what, I'll do what I think uh, it was my safest play from the beginning. I will take here uh, an Underground Sea, and I'll cast a Blind Cabal Therapy. I think this is safer. And uh, my experience, my previous experience against this deck is that they usually have uh, Dauchi Void Walker. So I'll name uh, Dauchi here. Oh, I was so right. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I, feel, I feel good. I feel good. All right. After uh, debating with myself for two minutes, I did the right thing. My opponent casts Ponder. And now I can cast Odor the Gaze in my upkeep. Maybe forcing my opponent to... Crack the spell bomb and then uh, going for a careful study. My opponent finds a land and have one extra card in their hand. No days, please. Okay, we have an Arcomiba and uh, okay, 
those are not the best, but I, Nakamibo, of course, will be uh, into my graveyard, but uh, next, um, it's, it's harder here, because, uh, let's see, my play is probably just, uh, I don't think I can keep Cephalic Coliseum yet, I want to keep it, let's, let's think about my possibilities here, this Surveil Land is good, but after Cephalic Coliseum, but I don't want to keep both of them, I can replay uh, Gaze with Flashback before my opponent cracks the Spellbomb. I don't think I can keep both lands here. And because of that, I will... Hmm, this is hard because my opponent can cast Grief or uh, a Thought Seize if they do. They have... I kind of like both of hands, but I don't want to keep both of them. If I keep both, I will drive one of them and I will play Island and pass the turn. Being patient. This is really tough. You know what? I will... I believe this is one of those times that I will not keep uh, the Surveil land and keep the best land. Uh, so I will not keep under City Sewers, but I will keep Cephalic Coliseum. I will have this Narcomoeba, and now I will draw my Cephalic Coliseum. I will play a basic island, and I'm not sure if I will cast about Therapy just to put my Stinkwind Imp. I think it's wiser to wait one more turn that I can just cast Stinkwind Imp and cast about Therapy from the Graveyard, sacrificing Stinkwind Imp. I think this is better. So let's wait one more turn to to do a move here, since my opponent have this spell bomb. My opponent starts their turn, drawing a card, playing Polluted Delta, cracking it. Okay, cracking both uh, fetch lands. Oh, true name Nemesis is dangerous here. It's scary. In a situation like that, with a spell bomb, it, this is a scary card. So I need to force my opponent to crack this spell bomb, spell bomb as soon as possible. I think I will cast all the world gaze here, trying to find something good to force my opponent to crack spell bomb. I don't want Daze, Bridge, but I think I want Brainstorm. And the only way to force my opponent to do something here will be uh, putting a Dredger, right? So I will start with Nakumiba first. I will start attacking with Nakumiba first. Since all of this will be exiled soon, let's at least have a uh, Chuchu Zombie uh, from, from this trouble, right? So I will cast about Therapy targeting myself, sacrificing Nakumiba. My opponent will probably let this resolve, because they want to exile my treasure. And I want to force my opponent to do something right now, so they cannot draw an extra card. So, yeah. Okay, I will dredge 5, and dredge 4. We have one extra bridge, one equid, one tug. I will discard my both treasures here, keeping Brainstorm. My opponent will probably crack this spell bomb uh, next turn, since now I have many things. They will probably not let me draw the secret back. A wasteland is a really good addition to my opponent's battlefield. And okay, now we have only this brainstorm and an Arcomoeba. I do I just cast Narcomoeba here and pass the turn? <laughs> it would be interesting, but I don't think I do. Even a land here is a good thing to find with brainstorm. So I just start with brainstorm. Okay, two Narcomoebas. We are brainstorm locked, but we have two Narcomoebas, so this will push our clock a little bit. Uh, let's Let's hide one Hogak and one Arkomoiva and attack, dealing two damage. My opponent's clock is faster for now. Okay, they have only a land. Uh, let's attack first. And now I cast an Arkomoiva. And now I have the same clock, but my opponent will have the first attack. But next turn I will play an extra Arkomoiva. My opponent has the Surveil land. Okay, uh, they get rid of their swamp. And next turn we will see a new card. Let's attack first. The worst that can happen is my opponent having an Orcish Bowmasters here. No, at least not for now. And now I will play my other Narcomoeba, and now we have a turn 2 clock, and my opponent has a turn 3 clock. Let's see if this weird game will be decided on just a simple attacking with 3 ones or 2 twos and 1 1 flying. My opponent plays Wasteland and crack it, okay, but uh, this will not affect our clock. We have no choice but attacking here. If my opponent don't attack with True Name Nemesis, it's probably because they don't have anything, because we have Lethal on board. Okay, we have Lethal on two turns. A basic island is good, let's play it, and attack only with Narcomoebas. My opponent needs something, they cast Brainstorm, it's a good start. Did they find anything? A Grief, a Grief will not uh, do anything here. Grief plus Reanimate. They can have an animate dead to my Hogak, but uh, I have two flyers. They need to animate my Stinkwood Imp if this is their plan. 
even if this is the case, uh, this thing we yeah, this is the case, but uh, this thing with imp will not have a uh, power, it will be a zero true. So I can attack dealing one damage, my opponent needs to find something else on their turn. Oxwalkers is not good, we need something else. Let's attack with both Narcomoebas, my opponent blocks one, and they will go to. Oh no, they had anything uh, on top, they knew it because of Brainstorm, and we won this match. We are on fire this evening. Okay, we did not drop a single game so far. Let's go to our final match. So this is our final match against Fire God. And uh, let me adjust this. We are on the play. No lands, no keep. Uh, we have lands, but this is not a good keep. Of course, we have Brainstorm trying to uh, get a better hand. But uh, this is actually awful, right? This is something like a... Uh, yeah, this is like a mulligan to 4. Let's go to a better 5. Yeah, this is best. We keep, we put Narcomoeba, and we it back. And uh, I remember playing against this player maybe last week, but I'm not sure what what they were playing. Yeah, I'm not sure. Do I start with... I'm, I'm not, I don't think this is Reanimator. Do I start with uh, about therapy targeting myself? Or do I start with basic island past the turn? Hmm. I think I start with Basic Island, pass a turn, and I will cast other early gaze on their upkeep. Okay, nothing good, nothing good. We can put everything into our graveyard. Okay, it's Painter, Shadow Spear. This is such a weak turn one. Maybe my opponent have Goblin Engineer on turn two. If they have Goblin Engineer on turn two, uh, I will probably lose. So, hmm. usually against other uh, players in other situations or other decks, I would not go for a blind therapy here. I always say that Cabal Therapy is not Thoughtseize, but this really suggests to me that my opponent has a strong turn to play. I could cast Otherly Gaze to get Pox Walkers, but I think I'll go for a Blind Therapy here, unfortunately, because I'm really scared of my opponent having... Maybe, maybe they have only Fable, right? Fable is not that bad. And if they have Fable, I will just spend my, spend my turn 2 doing nothing. But mm, something... something... Feels like a Goblin Engineer. Let's let's cast about therapy here. Goblin Engineer. Okay, and they had a Goblin Engineer and a Fable. Okay, both cards that. Oh, and an Agatha Soul, Soul Cauldron. So yeah, we took my opponent's uh, best shoot drop, but now they will probably just uh, put Agatha Soul Cauldron, uh, and we need to be really careful with this card because it's Graveyard Hate. It's not the best Graveyard Hate, but it is good. I will just pass a turn here, and when my opponent tries to exile my card, I will cast it to put Boxwalkers back. If they do, of course. Okay, they are going for Cabal Therapy, so let's cast the Worldly Gaze. Boxwalkers will come back. And okay, it should register and a bridge. So uh, this Soul Cauldron will not be fast enough to stop us. But we don't have an extra neighbor here, so yeah. At least we have a Boxwalkers. Painter is tough. This is a tough matchup. So another Rosa Saga. They can cast Fury here, and I think uh, they are right of doing that, because now I will lose my Bridge and my Poxwalkers. And they can even exile my Poxwalkers if they want to. Oh, they they didn't take uh, Poxwalkers, okay. Hmm, I'm not sure even if I dredge 4 here. My opponent only has a Fable. Do I try to get lucky uh, and draw exactly an enabler? Let's do the math here. Dredge 4, I can hit uh, maybe one of my other 3 or the Worldly Gazes. But against this card and two Urza Saga, they will probably have a Soul Guide Lantern after the first Urza Saga uh, uh, to the refer it. So I think I would just try to be uh, lucky here. No, just a Force of Fail. Yeah, my opponent probably will just find... I will, I will cast this Soul Guide Thug because I have nothing else to do. But my opponent will probably go for a Soul Guide Lantern with this Urza Saga. Let's see if they have a Soul Guide Lantern in their main deck. And they can draw two cards, discard two cards. Okay, we don't know my opponent's hand anymore. Now they have a construct. And if they have another graveyard hate here, I would just concede. Okay, spell bomb instead of soul guide lantern. Of course, I don't need to concede. Maybe I just wait one more turn to see what my opponent will uh, go fetch with this Urza Saga here. I wasn't expecting a spell bomb. Okay, my opponent uh, exiled my dredger. I will have a draw, a basic island. Okay, I will cast my Synchro as a blocker. And let's see, my opponent can maybe do a bad move here. I don't think they would do, because they have a Trampler with a Shadow Spear. But uh, I saw things in the past. Okay, this is a Surveil Land. 
Okay, I'll not press F6 here. My opponent don't know, don't know my hand. And they have a Mox Oppo. So maybe this is their go, go for... Okay, and I got an Engineer. Let's see what they will find. A Frex and Devourer, okay. And now they can choose a creature to have Trample. And then they will put uh, tag, uh, counters on, on that. And I can concede here. I lost. Okay, GG. <laughs> this is... Uh, this was a really good start from uh, Painter, especially against our deck with multiple Sagas and Agatha Soul Cauldron. Now what? This is one of our worst matchups because my opponent will probably have Leyline of the Void after sideboarding. So I need to include my 5 bounce spells. But my opponent also can have something like Ensnaring Bridge, so usually I would like to have Ashen Rider. Since my opponent play with uh, single uh, artifacts, as hate and slow artifacts like Agatha Soul Cauldron, I kind of like having Merc Tides. And since my opponent w uses their graveyard with uh, many synergies, Leyline of the Void is always a consideration. Uh, and uh, if Ashen Rider, Rider gets in, I will need to include Red Return. I, only these days it's not useful uh, right now, but it really is because now we are on the play. But I, of course, cannot include 15 cards. So I need to choose what I think uh, it fits best. Uh, against uh, probably a Leyline deck, I need to put uh, Bounce Spells, of course. But from this, I'm not sure. Force of Will against a Pyroblast deck is not that good. I can take Force of Will. I would like to have the extra days on the play. But I need to take something from my, my deck. I think I can take one Brainstorm. And um, I'm not sure what else. I don't think I can include Merc Tide. I would like to, but I think I I, I not need Merc Tide against a deck with Pyroblasts. Uh, I don't want to take anything else. It's really hard at this point. Let's keep only three daisies and try like that. We are on the play now. Our best hands include something like this. A stand dismissal and daze and a way to discard our dredgers. An enabler. This hand is almost good. It doesn't have ways to discard uh, our dredgers. Cabal therapy is not uh, the best way to do that. So unfortunately I will mulligan this hand. But it is really close. My opponent kept seven so now I don't think I can be that picky. Uh, we'll keep this hand, uh, discarding, uh, putting Narcomiba back. My opponent had no line, and we have a daze, so maybe we can do something here. I'll pass a turn. Since my opponent can have Fire Blast, I will cast other the Gaze on their upkeep. I will not wait a single moment. Careful study is good. A second daze is good? I'm not sure. I probably put about Therapy and this second daze into my graveyard, but I will keep careful study. Okay, Ancient Tomb, Lotus Petal. Another Petal. Did I lose? Turn of Amethyst. Some creature spells cost one more to cast. Okay, they are just doing that to save uh, their, their spells against Force of Will. But I don't have Force of Will anymore. I have only Daze. I don't think I will Daze that because I want to... Well, but I cannot cast Otherworldly Gaze with this on the battlefield. But I can cast Careful Steady. So I think I let this resolve, unfortunately. Okay, my opponent passed the turn. They kept uh, 7 only because of that? I don't think so. They must have something else. So I play Cephalic Coliseum and cast my Careful Study. But unfortunately, I cannot uh, cast these after that. Okay, my opponent has a Pyroblast. Oh, they needed to sacrifice both of Lotus Petals for that. Okay. This is not that bad. I can press F6 here because I cannot cast counter spells. My opponent has Painter. But no Grindstone yet. They could play Grindstone if they had a Grindstone. Uh, I cannot play Otherworldly Gaze with this thing. So I now can play Otherworldly Gaze. I will do it before my opponent can have a red mana available again. Curious Dismissal is not good. My opponent don't have uh, nothing, but I can probably get rid of everything else, including Scouting Turn, because next turn I will just... Uh, I would love to have a black mana here, but I don't think I will have the time to have uh, one extra turn waiting for my opponent to do something. So I can... Okay, my opponent only attacked me. This was a weird keep. I can understand this keep if my opponent have something else, like Fairy Macabre or Surgical Extraction. But I don't think they do. So Dredge 6. Okay, we have Hogak, but nothing... We don't have a choice besides wrecking a Cephalic Collision. Okay, now we have a Channel Vapor. We don't have mana to, to cast it, but we have Days and Channel Vapor available. So let's discard our best treasures. We can Days something. I don't think we we should because my opponent have uh, four mana. I don't think there is something that we can daze here. Magus of the Moon. 
So if I try to daze that, my opponent will deal two extra damage to themselves, to themselves, going for eleven. And maybe this is my last time to have this opportunity to daze, so I will do it. I need to pay one, of course, and return my island. Okay. I dealt one damage to myself, my opponent dealt two extra damage to themselves. And now I will dredge, and I can have this chain of vapor available since I cannot crack Cephalic Coliseum anymore. So, it's kind of a win. It's like the silver lining, right? I cannot crack Cephalic Coliseum, but at least I have two lands forever. Now I have an Akum Weaver. I can even cast Hogak. Okay. If I do this, I'm going for the win, right? My opponent don't have Grindstone. If they had, they already would have cast. Uh, I will cast this Cabal Therapy targeting my opponent, paying one, sacrificing a Komoeba. Now I have three zombies. I will name the tutor here, I will name Goblin Engineer, Goblin Welder, and Firex and Devourer. Uh, this Firex and Devourer can wait a little bit more. I will cast Hogak here. Uh, do I need to keep zombie token? Uh, yeah, because of this, uh, having more blockers is better. So let's exile some spells and lands. Now I will take Goblin Welder. Paying one. And we have the win next turn. If, I'm, if I'm, my opponents don't find anything else, we have the win. Goblin. Welder. Even Grindstone is not that good right now because my opponent don't have much mana because of Magus. So maybe this is a, an unexpected win. Maybe. I exile lands and spells again. And we, we still have this chain of vapor for the future if needed. Now it's my opponent's turn. Okay, they found Goblin Engineer on top. But uh, it is just a blocker, right? One, two, three blockers. I have little, by the way. And I have a chain of vapor if something unexpected happens, but I don't see what could happen. Hogak tramples. Yeah, my opponent concedes. Okay, we won. Unexpectedly. Yeah, we won. Probably my opponent uh, thought that this, this plus this plus Pyroblast uh, was a good combination uh, against our deck, which is pretty blue, and with fewer lands. But uh, it wasn't enough. Now what? Maybe my opponent have a different build without Leyline of the Void? Maybe? Thorn of Amethyst. This is wild. The Thorn of Amethyst makes me think that my opponent will not play with Leyline and maybe with other cards. Like Fairy Macabre, for example, uh, which don't cost mana to be played, to be activated. I can be wrong, but uh, Painter deck don't have that many uh, slots available for Graveyard Hate or for Hate in general. So maybe Thorn of Amethyst is indicative that a Kyoros Dismissal is not good, so I'll take Kyoros Dismissal, and I can include what? Anything really, even Murktide. <laughs> of course, I will not keep. I, will not, I, I want to test Murktide. Uh, this is. Uh, this was the plot of this video, uh, but uh, I don't think Murktide is good against the Pyroblast deck. I could include Force of Wheels instead of Days right now, so I can include four of them instead of my Days, since I'm on the, I'm on the draw right now. And the Dread Retonation Rider could be good, but my opponent has Agatha Soul Cauldron, Soul Cauldron, so this is not good. I could have Leyline or Brainstorm back, but I think this is already a bad matchup. I think this is probably the best configuration considering what I have. So let's play the last game of this Legacy League. I do believe that it is possible to win even on the draw, but uh, Painter is always a tough matchup. Okay, now we have Force of Will, we have Bounce Spells, we only, we're only missing Lands and <laughs> Dredgers. My opponent kept 7, so having a force of will is good, but no lands, no keep. Let's mulligan. This hand is pretty good. It's pretty resilient. We have 3 lands. We have 3 enablers. We can probably get rid of one of our lands here. Probably uh, the, basic, the basic island. No, probably the... Do I keep this? My opponent kept a really slow hand last turn. Last, uh, last game. So maybe I do keep this. We don't have a force of will, but we have... I don't think I can... I can... Mulligan this hand. I will keep this. This is not perfect. I would like to have a force of will, but uh, I don't think I can keep it. I can uh, mulligan this. So the surveil land can be uh, can go back and let's start. Scout in turn for my opponent and passes the turn. This is obviously a pyroblast. So what can I do? I can uh, cast about therapy targeting myself to put go get troll uh, to avoid my opponent's pyroblast, or I can cast about therapy targeting them, naming something like Agatha Soul Cauldron or something like that. Hmm. I think because my opponent kept 7 and this is an obvious turn 1 play, I don't think my opponent will keep 7 without something to do. So I will try to resolve this Cabal Therapy targeting myself. And next turn I will have 2 enablers. My opponent cannot uh, 
cannot counter both of them. So, great troll. It resolves. If my opponent has something like Fairy Macabre Surgical Extraction, this will uh, not be the best uh, move. But we still have things to do next turn. This will be a Surveillance for my opponent. Yeah. Uh, they don't like the Mountain. So they probably have lands. Who's a Saga? Okay, we need to be fast. Agatha Soul Cauldron as expected. And my opponent will probably exile it immediately. But we can find uh, something really good to have a great turn true. But the early gaze is better than careful study, so we will start with that. Unfortunately, not good hits. Do I keep any of them? I don't think so. I will put every one of them into my graveyard. And I don't actually have a choice. I need to cast this careful study. Okay, two dredgers. So my opponent cannot get rid of both of them. I kind of will, uh, would be really happy if my opponent just waits to, to hit my uh, graveyard with uh, Soul Cauldron. In my turn, because... Oh no, they will not expect, of course. Because I could cast Brainstorming in response. Oh, they have another one. Oh no. Oh no. So maybe a blind, a blind Cabal Therapy naming Agatha Soul Cauldron could be good. And they probably have a Pyroblast here. Uh, do I even bother casting this Otherworldly Gaze right now? It will be just countered, probably. But I think it's best than... Oh, I don't know. I feel like the only chance to winning here is... My opponent, of course, forgot that Agatha Soul Cauldron is legendary, or they did on purpose just to get rid of my both uh, treasures. But uh, now, because if I resolve this, if my opponent don't have a Pyre Blast, let's think of the best of the words here. Because my opponent will go after a Spell Bomb uh, when Urza Saga uh, dies, <laughs> when Urza Saga uh, search for something. And I will, if I resolve this, if this resolves, I will not have the speed necessary to win the game on this turn. So I think I could, of course, uh, find land and dredger. So my options here are, I try to resolve a the gaze right now, trying to find uh, the best combo here. A uh, black creature to be food for Icarid, a uh, grave troll to be my dredger, and a land to keep on top, so I can play the third land and cast Brainstorm. This would be spectacular. Uh, but uh, I don't think this is reliable enough. So I will just have a natural draw here. So I can go after 5 cards instead of 3. Okay, we found Grave Draw. But I don't think this careful set will resolve. Mm. It has resolved. Okay. And this is actually our best move here. Hmm. Usually we would play this after Brainstorm resolves. But I think I'll cast. I will play this right now. Because my opponent will find Spell Bomb when uh, one extra card is one extra card. So I'll play it right now. And I have only Bridge. Bridge is good. Into our graveyard. And now this Brainstorm. Maybe will put us in a... What? Oh, okay, my opponent had a Pyroblast. And uh, they just... Uh, okay, they just let Careful Study resolve because it wasn't that scary. But uh, since they saw both Grave Trolls, they, uh, they now hit Pyroblast. And... Um, yeah, we lost this match. Let's confirm that after my opponent. Uh, finally, yeah, my opponent is uh, saying me GG, yeah? GG. Almost there, almost there. Two cauldrons. Two cauldrons were unexpected. If my opponent had only one of them, we could have won this game. Uh, but uh, yeah, it wasn't enough. And yeah, my opponent now with Goblin Engineer will find. And my opponent will have uh, perpetual spell bombs here with Engineer. Uh, they have artifacts there. We can just concede. GG's, we. Had a really good finish, 4-1, and with a nice uh, last match here, it, was, it wasn't a trophy, but uh, I am pretty satisfied with my deck, my new version of Blue Dredge, and I hope you also had enjoyed this with me. So yeah, let's talk a little bit of, about the deck. Well, what can I say? I'm a big fan of this strategy. Uh, in my opinion, Blue Dredge is one of the best, if not the best, Dredge deck available uh, now. Because the combination of days, Force of Will, counter spells with a powerful strategy uh, like Dredge uh, helps you to protect your queen, and by queen I mean your graveyard, better than just with uh, discard spells or trying to be fast. Of course, this will succeed if you also have uh, some, ex some experience with tempo decks, uh, because any deck with brainstorm, uh, counter spells, uh, instant speed uh, spells uh, will be more difficult to play than traditional dredge builds that only have sorceries. And uh, I think Poxwalkers will add more and more layers to dredge. This is a powerful card to uh, always have in mind if you will play dredge. Even if this is a, a blue dredge build or a turbo dredge or traditional LED dredge or leadless dredge, 
uh, you will probably uh, want at least one box walkers in your 75. And uh, Marketide Regions, we have the we had the opportunity to cast one of them, and it was glorious. Uh, of course, uh, probably this is just uh, cute, but uh, I think I I could test Marketide Region. I can test Marketide Region in some more leagues just to be sure, because this league we had uh, the opportunity to cast it only once, but uh, uh, probably it's just too cute to be played on dredge. Uh, and in that case, we have three other slots here to play Grief or cards uh, to target uh, specific uh, other decks like uh, Storm. We, have, we can play Mind Break Trap, we can play Fluster Storm, or we can play Force of Negation. I played Force of Negation before in the past. We can play even more uh, threats. We can have uh, even uh, one extra Icarid or one extra Hogak or one extra Dread Return and one extra target. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, have you, uh, did you have fun here? Uh, I hope so. And please click the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, be my patron to help me to do this again in the future. Having more supporters is the best way to uh, achieve my goal to be a content creator here with Magic the Gathering. So, see you next time, and I hope you enjoyed. See you.